Hello, hello, hello. It's Welcome again to another Weatherman Weekly Weather Report hosted by me, Scott D. Weatherman. Uh, this is the weather report for Abilene and it is for August 9th through 15th, 2020. So, to start with, here is a view from the weather cam at my house, northward looking. Uh, typical of this time of the year, same as Kind of last week, a uh, little less clouds shown in the distance, but we have pretty nice, warm, clear day outside. And so a few things. Uh, let's look at the current radar right now. All right. Oh, close that. Come on. Sorry, my computer is being a little bit slow as normal. All right, so looking at the weather radar right now for the United States, we see that there's some storms in some area, but not really much uh, going on, not too much going on. It's been pretty warm and dry. So we'll zoom in to our area, and there is really nothing moving. There's some stuff over here um, in the mountain areas over in New Mexico. There's a few things down southeast as, as you go down to the 30, I-35 uh, over over further east going towards like Houston everything that's that's normal though down here have some stuff coming in off the Gulf but there's nothing really going on in this area right now so before we go on to forecast I uh, wanted to go ahead and talk about something that was kind of interesting that I saw when I pulled up the kind of the, this stuff on on weather channel to try to get the radar and whatnot first thing popped up is that this morning there was a 5.1 earthquake that struck around uh, shortly after 8 a.m. and this was over in uh, southwestern North Carolina region, kind of some uh, kind of down close, or I'm sorry, not some <laughs> down up, uh, and it's kind of the uh, northwestern Carolina, southern Virginia, uh, northeast Tennessee kind of area. So I thought that was kind of neat. It says that the earthquake struck by 8:07 about um, a mile south southeast of Sparta, North Carolina, according to USGS. Um, it says it's about 90 miles north of Charlotte. It was the sixth earthquake in the area in a little more than 24 hours. So there's been several little other ones that are going on. Uh, this is unique for the area because it's not very often we have earthquakes out there, although the area there, the Appalachian Mountains and everything, was formed due to a movement of plates and whatnot. So the mountain building that went on there, there it's no stranger to stress forces and whatnot over there. So uh, there's lots of neat stuff um, popping up, um, images and whatnot showing of, of what's what happened. There'll probably be, be more earthquakes over the next couple days because that uh, seems to be typical, but this one's probably going to be the largest for that. The last one they had was early 1900s. It was like this. So I just thought that was kind of an interesting thing. Um, it's the USGS says it's about only a 4% chance of one or more aftershocks even larger than at 5.1. Um, February 1916, 5.2 earthquake hit near Asheville, it says. And so it's been a while. It's not very often that this happens. It's it's kind of kind of interesting. So just kind of bring this, I'll bring this over real quick to show you um, an image where it's at. So right about here. Uh, this is interesting to me because I used to live right about here. So that's where I got my geology undergrad degree and it would have been kind of neat to have uh, actually been in the area at this time because it would have been kind of neat to feel an earthquake considering that that's what uh, I focus on, natural hazards and stuff like that. Anyway, so neat tidbit. Moving on. So looking at our weather, this right here is our temperature and wind. You see that our winds are normal still going from the south. Um, you look at most of these temperatures, you see they're around 100, so it is pretty warm outside. That's kind of what it's been uh, pretty much all week. We've had the trend of upper 90s a few days with very low 100. Currently right now, we're looking at 100.9 degrees. Uh, it's actually down a little bit from yesterday at this time. 
the fill, the real fill outside is about 103, so it's it's a little toasty. Uh, our humidity has come up a little bit. It's 29 percent, not really that much, but that that humidity is what makes it feel a little bit warmer. Our pressure has gone down a little bit, uh, but we're sitting at 1,003 uh, millibars right now. Our, our wind not too windy. We did have a peak of 13.6 mile per hour today. Uh, right now it's 2.5 it shows coming from the north, but it, it just keeps switching back and forth. It's really not too breezy. We've got a, about a 6 right now for our heat index. It's 440 almost, so it's a little later in the day. Our heat index is a little bit lower than, than probably what it was a little earlier. Our peak was 936 for our, our solar radiation, so you see that it's gone down a third. So you can imagine this probably was around eight at its high point today. I'd imagine. Um, we have our sunrise was at 7 a.m. this morning, so our sun's rising a little bit later in the morning than it has. Um, it's it's setting about 8:31, so that's still similar. It's a little bit a little bit less than what it was. Uh, our moon is going to be coming out around midnight, a little after midnight, and it's going to be out visible if you can see it um, till about noon. We're sitting at a 72% waning view of the moon, so you should probably be able to see it if the skies are clear. All right, so moving on to what we look at for the rest of the day. So for the rest of the day, we're going to be getting cooler. So we're, we're really hot and it's going to get cool through the evening and then into the morning. So we'll start off tomorrow probably around 77. So upper 70s probably be our start for the rest of the week. Uh, we're looking at our temperatures are going to be hovering around this 100 uh, with a high of 101 later on in the week on Friday. Uh, but it's pretty much going to be a really warm week. It's going to be not very many clouds. So you, you can predict that the humidity is probably going to be about what it is right now. It might fluctuate a little bit, but not too much. Um, Hopefully after this week, it looks like we're going to have a little dip right here going into next week. So maybe that's a precursor. Hopefully that uh, it'll get a little bit cooler going into the to next week. Um, that's pretty much what we got going for right now. We don't not looking for any precipitation. There's very little chance throughout the week. Uh, we did have a little bit this past week. I'd mentioned that on Monday there was a little bit of a chance, and as we'd seen before, that little bit of chance could do something so we saw me just a little bit of rain not a lot but you know any any bit is a bit so but that's what we're looking at and hopefully things will start getting on a cooling trend and the rest of this summer will be nice all right peace out